Hello everyone, and welcome to the Access IO's first video product demonstration. My name is Marcin, and today I'll be presenting an advanced PCI Express Mini card carrier board for 104 Express. Now, if you're not sure what that means, you can find everything explained on our website, which is in the link in the description down below. However, even if you do know, you might be asking, so what is the purpose of this board? Here, let me explain. Having four peripheral device sockets on one PCIe 104 board truly multiplies the flexibility and reduces the size of your embedded system without compromising its ruggedness. Let's say you're in the middle of the prototyping phase and you want to see which set of peripherals best fits your embedded design. Allow me to demonstrate how much easier this process would be using one of our A104E and PCIe 4 boards as compared to the traditional 104 stack option. So we're going to start off with our traditional PC 104 embedded system um, with the CPU on the bottom. Uh, here, as you can see, I already included uh, the standouts for the CPU and so to give it a head start because um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take long anyways. Um, and we're going to add four modules um, to this so that we can have a direct comparison um, to attaching four peripherals, which is four MPCIe cards, um, to our uh, PCIe 104 card carrier board. Um, and we're going to attach this with four MPCIe cards to the CPU for PC 104 Express. For, uh, before I begin, I wanted to put on a ESD bracelet so that we can preserve our equipment. ESD bracelet so that we can preserve our equipment. And just make sure it's nice and tight. Let's get to it. While assembling both stacks, I will talk a little bit more about the features of our card carrier board. A104E MPCIe 4 board allows for connecting up to four MPCIe cards to the stack using only one PCIe lane. It supports both half and full size MPCIe cards for use with either type of PCIe 104 architecture, being compatible with both type one and type two stack. All four sockets support USB, SM bus, micro SIM, as well as PCI Express signals, while MSATA solid state drives are supported on two of the Type 2 connectors. Carrier board can be powered directly from the stack with 5 volts from the rail, meaning that no additional 12 volt supply is needed. The board is also prepared to work in harsh environments, having rugged reliable connectors and four corner mounting holes that make it resistant to shock and vibrations. It is also able to withstand an industrial standard temperature range from negative 40 to 85 degrees Celsius. As I can see, I'm about to be done with the 104 stack, so let's check out the results of that and I will continue later. This is our PC 104 stack. It's uh, five, five boards stacked on top of each other, CPU, and for traditional 104 modules. Um, as you can see, it is kind of bulky and not as much as, uh, as I thought at first, but um, as you can see, it takes up some space. And now let's compare this guy to our um, card carrier board for 104 Express. So for peripherals, we will be using our Um, and I'm going to just plug it right in here, no problem. Okay, taking advantage of another time gap, I will finish talking about the board. Since it is a PCI 104 Express standard compatible unit, our card carrier is additionally self-stacking, which means that it expands without backplanes or card cages. It also has a compact and standardized form factor that is 3.6 by 3.8 inches in module size that matches with other 104 Express boards, which makes stacking and designing racks for them a much easier job. Another feature of our board is that it's fully PC compatible, which translates to reduced development costs and time to market. In order to make installing MPCIe cards easier, 
there are also two millimeter standoffs integrated into the design of the hardware of the board. We are also offering possibilities of customization of this product to provide our customers with exactly what is needed. These possibilities include factory options, such as top stacking, dash top for use of the board on top of the stack, and one bank connector. You can find it under dash 1B in options for ordering. Available accessories include our entire MPCIe product line, like for example, multi-protocol RS MPCIe cards or bus digital IO data acquisition products, as well as various mounting hardware. You can find these and many other Access IO products on our website. We are almost done with assembling the second setup with the carrier board. So let's check out the results and see how they compare. Here's the final comparison of the sizes of these two modules. As you can see, the traditional PC-104 module is a little bit uh, thicker. It was pretty difficult to mount um, all of those on standoffs. Uh, for this one, it's just plugging in cards. Whenever you want to switch the card you're using, card 104E carry board, you just unplug this, you just unplug this, unplug this, unplug this and it's all working perfectly. So here's the comparison of adding peripherals uh, on a traditional PC-104 module and the PCIe uh, card carrier board. Uh, you can find these and many other Access I.O. products on our website, which is, once again, in the description. If you like this content, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave us feedback. Until next time. Here we have one of our Curtis Wright's traditional embedded motherboards that, as you can see, is also MPCIe compatible. Um, I just thought that it's worth mentioning as a side note that MPCIe is not designed only to be compatible with uh, 104 modules, but also with actually most of the uh, embedded motherboards. Um, actually it was first designed to accommodate for ever-changing wireless technologies and, and laptops and ultrabooks as an extremely small form factor that allows for replacing the Wi-Fi modules or Bluetooth modules just with the snap of a finger.